Hopefully there will be more of a comfort level with, you know, Dwight knowing where he's going to get the ball. We have kind of an open offense, and this year we're trying to put in a few more things that direct a little bit more towards him because there were times last year I thought that the ball didn't find him enough, especially in our flow and in what we're doing. So I think hopefully they're getting more of a comfort level with each other, and, you know, and, and um, that comes over time. I mean, played summer. I played all, all summer long. He played with some, you know, really good players. Played off the ball, just made plays. Um, all those experiences. I mean, I, you know, I think that it was. Uh, I think it was a really good summer for uh, James, um, especially after the way our, our season ended so disappointing, disappointingly uh, last year. I thought it was really good. He got out there and you know had, had a great summer. Better NBA players, even if they weren't here before. Yes. Just walking right in. Yes, they, whatever scheme we're doing, believe me, someone has done before. And if you're a veteran, you've done it with somebody before. They're, okay, all right, no middle. Okay, you know, the young guys are like, oh, the veterans have not done that before. We're going to war them here, going to do this, going to do that. We're trapping here, we're trapping on this dribble. They, they go, okay. And, you know, you, 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 you trap at, at the point of impact, trap on one dribble off, all, all the different things, whatever you've done. They've done before, so they just pick it up very easy. Do you get to go faster then? No, because there's so many guys that haven't done it here that you got to go for them. You have to wait for them? Yeah, but those, those guys know what they're doing. Uh, Clint is kind of your most rookie of a guy because he didn't play summer league like the other. How's this first week for a rookie who when? wasn't Yes, he wasn't too well. Well, it's been really strenuous for him because he's got a groin pull, and I've seen him work on that foam roller on his back, you know? And every once in a while, he runs over and does the thigh foam roller. So he's kind of doing the Jane Fonda workout, so I haven't seen him on the floor yet, so I don't know what they so, so it's but I'm sure it's been strenuous. Just so Jane looks age. pretty good, yeah, yeah. for her age. Uh, right. so how is Isaiah look? He's obviously gonna be a guy you're gonna see a lot from this year. When what's camp been like for his Well, you know, Isaiah and Ish, those guys are you know, Pat, those guys are our three point guards out there, Jason Terry, um, who also has got a groin or he's got a uh, hamstring pull, hasn't been, been, been able to do much. But yeah, those guys, they're going to have to step up and play. That's just the way it is. So, I mean, he again is, you know, for, for, for um, Isaiah, his defense has got to you know, get better and his playmaking. Yeah, I know he can shoot the ball and he really is a scorer, but his ability to help others is, you know, we're, we're, we're going to need that more uh, more from that. Ish is ahead of him in that aspect. Bish is the ability to drive, kick him in place for others. And you know, Isaiah's gonna have to do more of that as we get going and we demand different Is that more to yeah. Ish has experience and as you were talking a minute ago, experience versus inexperience. Ish is a passing point guard, Isaiah's always been a scoring point guard. That'd probably be the biggest difference. Alright, alright, thank you.